Today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. I gotta look at my watch sometimes. I'm still just trying to get used to it being April. This is what? It was only April for what? This is the second day. It's been April. Been a lot going on. I'm feel like I'm going everywhere, going back and forth, trying to, to avoid this situation and avoid that situation. It's like, what the fuck's happening? And, and then, of course, the client of mine, you know, is running me around, you know. They back out, and then I drive freaking so far to do business, and they're not there. You know, like, fuck this. Somebody, somebody give me in Florida. Don't make me drive all the way to this place and that place to change your mind. What the hell's wrong with some people? I got some more car projects to do, and I wanted to share these car projects with you. You know, it's fun doing these projects for my friends and for myself, and uh, sometimes things happen. And, like, right now, my fucking garage is empty. It's fucking empty. You know why? Because... Yeah, I guess somebody was right. Somebody was fucking right. They, it, it's almost like karma, right? It's like, oh, well, you're going to get your cars repossessed because you can't afford to do this and that. You know, does it make anybody a, a bad person because they, they get overextended and they can't afford this, they cannot afford that? And what do they do? They try to hold on to what they can for as long as they can, right? Maybe that's a wrong thing. Do I do that? What the hell happened here? It's repossessed. I guess I'm a bad person now. Because I, I couldn't afford to pay the bank, so they take the shit back. And what happens to, to the BMW i8? So the Corvette's gone? What, I, what, I barely even had it long enough. Why would it be gone already? Uh, do I surrender it because I know I'm not going to be able to afford it? Just bring it back and, and not worry about it? Is that the kind of person I am? Obviously, I got a fucking empty garage now. I guess that's what I am. No BMW i8. Why? Because I guess it was leased, huh? I lease it. Yeah, that's what you do. You, you fucking lease a, a car that's like, like three and a half years old because they do that, right? They lease cars that are old. Then they lease fucking new cars. So that's gone, I guess, uh, because I put too many miles on it. What the fuck's going on? This, these are the things that people deal with in, in the real world. But, you know, it's what happens if you're not responsible and you just buy shit that you cannot afford. That You end up in this situation where now you have an empty garage. If you're even fortunate enough to have a house that has a fucking garage, you know what I mean? Some people have to, you know, have house payments. Some people have their house paid for. Some people have car payments. Some people have their cars paid for. You know, some people work on other people's cars, or some people work on their own cars and maybe other person's cars. But look at this, yeah, fucking, huh. yeah. So I guess somebody pinned me right. They got me right. Okay, you got me. You got me. So it, it fucking happened. I turned it in. I turned the shit in because all this economy is just fucking crazy. I'm like, what's going on? You know, you got the freaking coronavirus. All this shit going on. Who can afford anything these days? So it's like bail out what you can. Just bail the fuck out. You know what I mean? I still got a car in Florida. I can't even get it. I was like, shit, I got to pay the bill to even get it because it's too much fucking money. <sighs> so now it's sitting there. I, I, was, I was almost in Florida. It's like freaking halfway there and a the client backs out. I'm like, I'm turning back around. I don't want to get locked down and get stuck in another state and then I can't come back here to be near my family. Although I'm trying to like lay low because I don't want to like get sick at my age. I don't know what the hell's going to happen if that happens. But yeah, there it is. Empty garage. Yeah. Oh crap, it's getting windy out there. But anyway, yeah, I guess I better get some fresh air in here. Need to get that fresh air. Oh yeah, let that light up in here. Woo! Oh. Don't you like the sound of that? The sound of the garage, no? No, it's not the sound of the garage. It's the sound, it's the sound of the of the 2020 Corvette, the C8 Corvette in the driveway, just this rumbling there. Yeah, and the BMW i8 just sitting out there, just like getting some sun, sunbathing. Yeah, that's what's happening, sunbathing. Yeah, because nobody's taking anything, because this is ridiculous. I don't know, some people just get so carried away, but I figured I was going to do a little April Fool's thing, even though it's like the day after, because why do an April Fool's video on April Fool's Day? Because people are going to expect this, so you do it the day after. That's what you do. What the hell's going on in there? Yeah, do an April Fool's Day the day after the fucking day. Don't do it on the first of the freaking month, otherwise everybody's gonna know it's an April Fool's joke. That's that's the whole thing, guys. That's what you do. I move this damn thing. There. Move that out. I know. I got to cover that damn thing up. You know when you got a garbage can that's got the the friggin' the name of the county on it and the phone uh, the phone number. What do you cover that shit up? Cover this shit. Don't be a dumbass. In the kitchen, cooking my special chicken that I love cooking. Right there. There you go. It's your everyday vlog, right? This is your typical vlog. Just cooking in the kitchen, making my my salad right here, and uh, my chicken. That's what's happening. 
I gotta fuel up. I got some some home improvement projects I gotta work on. You know, I gotta do some maintenance stuff, take care of some things. So doing this to fuel up, like I said, because I got all that going on. Before I go scaling the side of a building like Spider-Man and all that. So I gotta take care of that business. I'll toss my salad over here. I toss my salad. Oh man. Good, good stuff there. A little natural stuff. The ingredients, natural ingredients. Delicious. I love it. Got my salad. Got my chicken. That's what I'm doing. Got to do the, do the right thing like I always do all the time, you know. Eat healthy. You got to take care of yourself, especially with this pandemic, everything going on around here. If you don't take care of yourself, you, you, you end up going to be, what, taken over by this, this uh, fucking virus? Hell no. Not happening. Not, not happening. Not, it's not, not on my watch. Whew. Oh boy. It's kind of bright out here. Oh man. Something about this area. Something's missing. Just can't figure it out. Something is missing on this. Cannot figure out what it is. I don't know. Something's missing. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's got to be an answer to what's happening. What happened? Did, did, uh, there was a repossession? Uh, I don't know. What happens when you don't take care of your bills, right? You don't pay your car payments? Wait a minute. Well, were they my cars or my friend's car? Oh, this is so confusing. All right, let's do another take on that. Here, here's the other take. All right, today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Yeah, I got a lot of things going on that I got to take care of. A whole lot of things. It's a busy day today. You got some maintenance to do, some house maintenance, all that fun stuff. You know, got to get it done before it's... I uh... can't remember what's going on here. Something's... Oh yeah, I got to tell you guys something as well. Something I need to share with you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. Like what? Like what the freak? Huh? I don't know, guys. I heard something. I think we got something. I heard a raccoon. We got a raccoon in the house. But that's the price you pay. You know, it happens. You know, well, I guess if you don't, if you don't uh, pay your car payments, the cars disappear. Is that what happens? What if you don't have car payments? What if you own them outright? What if it's not even? What if the car's not even yours? What if you're working on your friend's cars? There's so many what ifs, but nobody needs to know. Nobody needs to know shit. Anyway, I'm done with that. That's my fucking intro. <laughs> I have my fucking intro. I don't know if I like that intro. Let me retry again. Let me try a different intro. I'm not too crazy about that one. Yeah, let me try another one. Today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020, and I'm back over here. And the reason why I'm back here is because some idiot, some fucking idiot, way out there in Florida, decides to back out without giving me enough notice. So I'm already driving, doing all this for nothing. And so what the hell, that's what happens. Sometimes you end up dealing with this shit when you're in this line of business. So that's it. Forget it, I'm back. But. The good thing is, finally, was able to wash the BMW i8. Yeah, I was able to spray it down, okay? Get all that dirt and dust that's been accumulating for just sitting in the garage with me, driving occasionally to the store here and there when it's not raining. And uh, yeah, got the microfiber towel, dried it off. I even took the freaking leaf blower and blew some of that water off first, but it really, it came off, it just flew off of there. So that Ceramic Pro is really working well. And uh, and they say it takes about two to three weeks to cure, but I had it out in the sun for a while to make it cure faster. And uh, I think it's been working. It had a little bit of pollen on it as well, so I couldn't wait to wash that off. But it's shining just like the C8. It really is. It's fucking shining just like the C8 is. Now you see the fucking shine. I'm telling you. That, that's, that shit's good stuff. The, the, the Ceramic Pro. Right here. Look at that. Carbon fiber wrap on there. They did a good job with that. Um, I, I'm a little concerned. I'm, I'm not really liking some of this orange peel on here. I don't know if I'm gonna maybe ask them to, to you know, maybe do it again. Like, uh, you know, whatever. I'll say, hey, what is it gonna cost? Do it again. The, like, maybe they have to prep it more. Maybe sand it down a little bit, and then put it back on and put a new one on there because 
I'm, I don't like orange peel. I want it just to be shiny, uh, smooth like this. You know, this has kind of got the orange peel. If you look at it at a certain angle, you can see it. So, you know, I wanted it to match the spoil that I put on because I installed this, which was not a bad, it was pretty easy putting on there. I mean, it worked out really nice. So this kind of, it just, it matches well with that. And then when you go over here, you see over in the bottom here, the lip that I put on, because I, I have a video, a video showing you guys when I put that lip on the front there. So, um, yeah, that's another video. I was, uh, when I was in Florida, uh, if you can watch that video of me putting the lip on, that was uh, fun doing that. But uh, just gonna do some more things to that. Um, like I said, got some mods planned for the, the, the uh, C8. Just trying to get it all figured out. You know what I mean? Like I said, my friends, you know, bringing cars here all the time for me to work on them. And then I work on my own cars, so I was going back and forth, so people don't know what the fuck's mine and what's not, and that's the way I like to keep it. Nobody's fucking business. I want things done right. I'm not gonna drive a car in the rain when it just had freshly been done with the ceramic probe, otherwise you're screwing it up. Then, then what? All, all that time you invested in, in money you invested into having something worked on, and it's fucked up. You know, I don't do that to my friends, I don't do that to myself. So why, why start now? So that's the thing. So I'm going to show you what's in the glove box. And hey, it was even like the, the, the owner's manual for the, uh, for the fucking coat that I had put on here. And uh, the window tint that's on there. Yeah, window tint, because it makes it darker, right? And I need it because of medical reasons for my eyes. So whenever I have tint, I can see better. Yeah, for some people, I mean, it's a good for styling as well. I mean, both ways, it's really good. Either way, okay? But what's in my fucking glove box? Let's see. Well, you got the, you got the owner's manual to begin with right here. You got a fucking owner's manual. Um, there it is, right there. Beautiful, huh? You got the, but the, the navigation. What else is in here, huh? The actual owner's manual tells you everything right over here. So that's what's in the glove box. All kinds of good stuff there. I don't know. There's no sense of going inside there. So, owner's manual. I feel like I just need to just throw everything on the floor and then I'll just work on it when I get a chance. Otherwise, it'll just be a long ass fucking video. I had to fold it up in a particular way so that anything personally identifiable as far as credit card numbers, check numbers, you name it, fucking phone numbers. This is the shit I deal with because this is how, what you got to do when you have daughters to protect. But there it is right there, okay? It shows you what has been installed on this BMW i8 right there. All that stuff's been installed. And um, do you do that when you uh, lease something? I fucking doubt you're going to have that kind of stuff done to a car that you are leasing. And who would lease a car that's freaking three and a half years old? This car was built in friggin' the, almost, it was almost 2017 when it was built. It was built far into that year, so... What the freak, people? Uh, you know, there's just some out there that just like to start shit. I don't know, but that's just the way it is. Like I said, I guess I, I bring this on myself because I, I'm that person who has to, you know, watch what I say and only say things that I feel are necessary to say. And, you know, you have to do that shit to protect your privacy and, to, and not put your finances out on the fucking internet for the wrong person to see. And then you wake up one morning and find that somebody broke in your house and took your shit. Fuck that, nobody needs to know goddamn shit. That's just the way it is. So yeah, when I put it out there, I see a lot of these people out there making car videos. I, it's, I do it for fucking fun. It's been, this has been a passion of mine, working on people's cars, working on my own cars, collecting cars, buying and trading, you know, buy something and enjoy for a while, then try something else, okay? That's part of life, right? We do these things. Some of us are in that position to do it, some of us are not, so don't shoot down the people that work their ass off to be in that position to do those things, and why should they sit there and disclose whether or not they're financially capable of doing such? Isn't it better to just say, hey, I don't know nothing, the bank owns everything, my friends own everything, than it is to, to put it all, it all out there? Like I said, I'm gonna leave you guys fucking wondering what's mine and what's not, because I feel for the very few out there who have bad intentions, then I'm not, in, I'm not inviting them to do anything stupid. Because, you know, like I said, like I practice my Second Amendment, so anybody dares try to come in my property, um, it be the last uh, stupid decision they ever made, you know, especially with me protecting my family. So, you know, if somebody tries to come in here and rob me, rob me or cause any harm, then that's the way it is. So when I see these people doing these car videos, I'm like, wow, they're, they're pretty risky. 
especially if they're putting all their finances out there, if they're going to a car dealer, and then they know what car dealer they went to, then they, they know more than they need to know. They show their license plates. I'm like, are you fucking stupid? What the hell's wrong with you people? I mean, I, I like the content. It's very entertaining seeing these people do these kinds of videos. And that's why I decided to start sharing this because this is a side of me I never put on YouTube until I started getting, I guess, inspired by these people doing these car videos. I'm like, why not? I mean, I, ha I, I have... I have this hobby of mine, why not do this? Why not put cars that I work on on YouTube, cars that I own on YouTube, why not do that and enjoy it? And, you know, of course I'm gonna come up with people that are gonna be like saying, oh, well you're saying you're struggling this and going through that, because sometimes it's best to just not put your actual financial information on the internet, whether you're struggling or not. But for me, I feel like I had to justify things because I was getting taken advantage of by people and having fake friends and gold diggers and it was like, how many fucking times do I have to say this? People just like end this conversation because it's like people post on videos like and, and call me out on this shit. I'm like, I've already made a video explaining it. That's over with. Just stop bringing this shit up. Can I just make fucking car videos and enjoy posting them without everybody bitching and complaining about, oh, well, you say this, you say that. Oh, you're irresponsible or you're leasing this. You're afraid to put miles on this because if you put miles on it, you're going to end up paying more because you can't afford anything because you're like an... Oh, beyond, you're over your head in, in debt. Nobody fucking knows what the hell's going on. I'm not, I'm not here to impress anybody when I make car videos. I don't, do I go saying, oh, this is mine. I, I paid such and such. People are saying how much money they pay for the cars. Did I, did I say, okay, so this is mine. I paid this much. I paid that much. Oh, this is mine. I paid that much. No, I'm beating around the bushes. I'm, I'm fucking not even telling anybody what's mine and what's not. It's like, I've been doing that the whole time. I'm not telling anybody shit. So. If people say, oh, you're trying to impress anybody, how the fuck am I impressing anybody if I'm not saying the 100% certain that anything that's in this garage is mine or my friends or owned by the bank? You know, I'm fucking confusing everybody. So that's the way it stays because it's nobody's fucking business. Going to the store to get my stuff. And uh, yeah, finally get to drive the, the, the I-8 after washing all the uh, you know dust and dirt off that's accumulated from just the car sitting out in the sun and collecting pollen and then uh, all that stuff. And it's very quiet because right now it's like, I'm saving gas. I'm actually helping the environment right now, guys. Because look, you know, see that? Saving the environment. Saving the environment and look, I've been even going eco pro mode. Boom. You know, very, 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 uh, very efficient there. I don't have to worry about anything. You know what I mean? Just taking care of the environment. That's like saving energy. I'm conserving energy right now. That's what you need to do. You know, conserve energy, save the environment. So driving in the, the BMW i8 because now I can finally drive it after all this, what's been going on. You know, just going back and forth with my client. And then of course, like I said, the client backed out and did all the driving for nothing. But anyway, running to the store to get some stuff and uh, once I hit the main road, I gotta put this camera down because I'm basically around where there's, it's just back road in the neighborhood. There's barely anybody around here, but a lot of beautiful scenery. Um, other than that, yeah, I gotta do that. Uh, ceramic coating, it had time to cure for, for, for two weeks, so I was able to actually wash the car off. So I washed it off, sprayed all the dirt and dust and pollen that accumulated while I was uh, letting it, um, you know, just kind of acclimate and dry off and cure in the sun. So, um, yeah, that helps speed up the process a little bit, which is a good thing. And so, uh, that's what's happening. It's so quiet. Nobody even knows I'm coming, right? They, nobody knows that I'm actually going up the road. You got people there outside playing. Nope, can't hear me, which is a good thing, right? You gotta be quiet, right? You're probably like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, man. Whatever. You know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm here to make a video. You don't like it. You don't have to watch that goddamn video. Just shut it off. <laughs> and all the other, all of you out there that are amazing, hey, I love you guys. You're amazing. I'm just talking to the few sour apples out there that do not, you know, that th those are the same people that probably go to these uh, congregations and uh, they they just keep spreading this fucking disease. They keep spreading this uh, coronavirus out there. They keep doing that because of that, you know, they're dumb. They're idiots. They're fucking idiots. Spread, spreading all this damn disease. Those are the people hanging out with crowds, not paying attention to what the law says, you know, what, what's suggested. And we got mandatory shit going on. I think we should uh, definitely be following the mandatory laws there, you know, and not breaking them.
you know, what is it, if people are rebellious these days? Oh, well, I'm gonna break the law. You know, just like when you're doing the cars. Right now, now that I hit this road, there's gonna be population coming up. I gotta put the camera down because I don't wanna be driving with a camera in my hand, especially if I come up to where there's gonna be people. So beyond this point, civilization's gonna start. So I'm cutting this off for now. Well, the friggin' store is friggin' crowded. So I gotta go in there and shop. And uh, that's what it's what's happening here. Yeah, I already, I've had my seatbelt on. So don't say I haven't been wearing it because I always wear my seatbelt. But see, isn't that cool how it shows where the car's parked? Anyway, I gotta get the hell in the store. And I got what I need, so I'm actually gonna go run over probably to the other store really quick because I need to get some eggs. So that's another thing I need to get because I'm running out of eggs and I only get a specific kind. It has to be the Omega-3 eggs or this the um, organic free range. So that's a mission that I have to accomplish. So I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, I can go. Much better. I gotta get back. I gotta eat something. I'm starving over here. I just need to get away from all these people. All this, uh, they're too close to everybody. You know, I don't wanna catch the, catch the illness. Because even though it's been about freaking two weeks curing, they say between two to three weeks of curing. So leave it out in the sun, letting it cure a little bit more. And I'm gonna have to turn it around so that it can face the other way. So the doors, when they're facing up, they can actually get more of that sun on them. So gotta do that. So working on this project, uh, nobody's repossessing anything. Not, not with my situation. Because maybe these are my friend's cars. Maybe they're not. Maybe I own them outright, maybe I don't. Maybe I got bank payments. Who the fuck cares, who the fuck needs to know? Ain't nobody need to know what you fucking want money from me? You want a fucking car, you, what do you, you want fucking this and that? People want, what do they, they want every goddamn thing. They can't have shit, I worked hard for my fucking money. I deserve what I can get, you know? I took care of my family, that's the priority. They, they got what they need, I'm moving on. You know, they're growing up, I gotta be on my own. Can I have something to enjoy in my life? But um, is it irresponsible if, if if I own something, but who knows? Maybe I don't know. Maybe these are bank payments, right? Maybe they're, they're fucking bank payments. Remember, knee deep, and I'm, they're coming to get them now. I'm leaving them out so they can go get the tow truck. That's what the fuck's happening, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so confused. I, 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 I gotta, I gotta put this down. I gotta, I gotta take care of this shit right now.